let's just test out sum first of all. So the F flag needs to be one to do addition. Zero plus zero is zero and the zero flag is on. So, so far so good. So a one on the X register yields a one on the output. Zero gets turned off. One plus one yields two. That all works. Uh, let's put, um, well, let's flip, let's flip this uh, to an AND, and in which case we should be ANDing this first bit, which should yield a 1, which this should turn green and that one should turn off. And it does. And so uh, let's negate the output. So if we do that, all of these will come on and that one should go off. So that's the negate. That one seems to work. If we... So if we sum these, let's turn the sum on. So the sum should yield uh, one plus one is two. So that should actually turn this, so that should yield this light right here. But since we're negating, this LED should come on and this one should go off. Okay, and that's working. So we can zero one of them. And if we zero one of them, then this light should go out or th this light should come on and this light should go out. And it does. And then of course, zeroing the other one should cause them to all come on. One of the things I find fascinating about this ALU is the authors managed to pack together a ton of functionality in terms of the functions that you can produce with a minimal set of flags and circuitry uh, so I'm looking at page 37 of the book, shows the truth table of the ALU. And if you look at the resulting ALU output, you can see, you know, given the function, the function of X and Y, you can see all of the operations that you can perform with the ALU by setting these six flags. So I just think it's interesting that the authors came up with such a creative way of uh, organizing these particular flags to produce these functions. Now, you know, maybe computer scientist looks looks at this and goes, "Ah, oh, well, it's obvious. This is just how it's done." Um, but for those of us that aren't, uh, you know, I'm not sure I could have sat down and come up with uh, such a concise way of of representing this. And I would be interested to know, you know, how what the design thought or process is to actually sort of back into this this kind of design. So if anybody knows, has an idea, hey, put it in the comments and let me know. But I wanted to take a look at just one, one example just to kind of show you uh, how creative this is. So if we just take the example of taking X and adding one to it. So there's our X, it's got one. And so what we want is this output to yield two, which is basically to light the second light up here. So given these six flags, how do we do that? Well, again, I'm just following along the truth table. Uh, first thing we do is we not X. So when we invert X, all of these are going to get flipped on, and this one's going to get flipped off. So that yields minus two uh, using two's complement. So the next thing we do is we zero Y. So it doesn't matter what's in here. We're going to zero Y and make that zero. Okay, so Y is zeroed. Next thing, we're, so nothing's, nothing's happening so far to um, the result. Now we're going to not Y. Basically invert Y. So now all of these lights, uh, internally anyway, uh, all these LEDs are flipped on because Y was zeroed and then we knotted it. So now all everything is high. Uh, so, so now, um, next thing we want to do, and sort of ignore this right now. So internally, X is knotted because that's because that's turned on. So internally, what we have is minus two added to minus one, which should yield minus three internally. What we want to do is we want to um, add the two together, and indeed, now we show minus three. So that. This, this is the two's complement for negative three. 
Uh, however, the last thing, because ultimately what we want is we want to add one to one, yielding two. So this light needs to be on and all these others need to be turned off. Well, how do we do that? Well, we negate the output right here. Boom, there we go. So implementing the function x plus one requires these flags to be set. And now you get one plus one yielding two. I just think that's an ingenious design.